Well, 17-year-old me wanted to see Tom Ra- Tom Brady roasted on the field by the Raiders, but instead I had to settle for him getting roasted by his former teammates, his former coach, and uh, other comedians last night on Netflix. There, boy, that was exceeding all of my expectations mm. of what the Tom Brady roast would be. I'm if you have children, put them away. Not a good time to watch. Actually, you get a good sense of it from the intro where. You have Bill Belichick, Andrew Bledsoe drop an F-bomb within the first 30 seconds of it. And you're like, ah! And here we go. So, uh, and for those that aren't aware, Kill Tony was a part of the uh, the dais, and that's about as far as you're going to go on this. I don't know who Kill Tony is. And I don't know what to kill Tony. I didn't, I didn't know He's to a kill Tony until last night. Comedian, uh, uh, podcaster, YouTube Oh, he show. went everywhere. He, he yeah. went everywhere with He's, it. He's... Taking over on that side of the world. There was, it was like the return of blue roasts mm-hmm. that have been gone for quite some time. There, the, the one of Bieber on Comedy Central was pretty good. That's where they got the, what, who's the British uh, talk show host? Um, he's, 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 Pierce Morgan. No, British talk show host is also a stand-up comedian. Um, Jimmy something. Anyways, he said, remember, this is a roast of... Uh, Justin Bieber, not a roast of Pete Davidson's father. That was on 9-11. Oh, wow. <laughs> Who, for those that are unaware, Pete Jeez. Davidson's father was a firefighter that was killed on yeah. 9-11. Yeah, which Pete Davidson laughed hysterically No about. bones about yes. it, that that is how he made his career. Yes. And he's, o- he's, okay, he's okay with, with that. that. Yeah. 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 But that was that was the last roast that I saw, and I was like, oh, God. Last night, the the I mean the worst day on the web. It could be Tom Brady. It might be Giselle. Giselle. She got some strays last night. Good God. I don't think they were strays. They were pointed right at her and her jujitsu instructor yes. boyfriend. Boy, and what she can do. Holy smokes! It was relentless. Yeah. We can't play that one on the radio from start to finish. And Brady just it, he he tried to not laugh. You could tell he was like. I can't laugh that hard at that. I can't laugh that hard at that. I can't. Let I me mean, have a little side eye smirk. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. that's funny. Yeah. Uh-huh. A lot of Brady leaving his the mothers of his children. Uh-huh. <laughs> that was that was a reoccurring theme. His investment into FTX it was a big portion of that, um, and then his cheating was Deflate Gate. Yes. And him coming out and saying the NFL wasted twenty million dollars on an investigation where I may or may not have been uh, had plausible <laughs> deniability in knowing who was doctoring the football. He's, he said, you could have just paid me $20 and I would have said, yeah, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Cheater. <laughs> I loved, I lo- I loved that, but it was like Tom Brady took more hits last night. Uh, way better than he ever took a sack. hundred <laughs> percent. He, he would just like, Always complain. Uh, he took it like a champ and he's, took it in stride last night. He squirmed in his night. chair a little bit, but he... A Bill, little bit? Yeah. Yeah, Bill, Bill Belichick came out first about butting heads with Tom Brady in his career. You know, people have said that Tom and I have butted heads a lot, and, and in a way that was true, but not really. It was it was hard to butt heads with Tom because he was so far up Alex Guerrero's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Woo, buddy. Julian Edelman had another Guerrero shot that <laughs> it was, we can't even air it. Nope. It was way, way worse. I don't think we can air anything Julian Edelman said last night, to no. be totally honest. I don't think he had a line that we can air. No. No. He was, I. there were a lot of guys that I was really impressed. Like Belichick, we saw... We've seen more personality out of Belichick from the McAfee draft cast and this. in this than we did in 20 plus years of him being a head coach. Yes. And that's like, everybody's like, how in the world did he relate to players? Did players play for him? But you always heard, like, no, Bill was an actual dude, but it was really hard. He would never give it to the media. It wasn't like an onion that you had to peel back at the layers. He. It took it a like lot concrete. to just open the door. Yeah, but once you got the door open, he was a different guy who would crack jokes with guys, and he does have a good personality. And you, you're not successful as a coach if you can't connect with people. Not for that period of time. N- you can do it for short periods of time, but not over you know essentially twenty years. Uh, and the, the the guy who you know uh, Tom Brady took his job, Drew Bledsoe. 
oh. was there as well. Buddy, you know, you have more rings than I do, but I've experienced a couple things that you will never experience. You know, the feeling of being the number one overall draft pick in the NFL. <laughs> and a uh, 28th wedding anniversary. It was yesterday. <laughs> Again, Woo! Bledsoe came out into it felt like the first time you saw Bob Saget do stand up, mm -hmm. where Bob Saget, like you hear, you, you think Danny Tanner, America's Funniest Home Videos, and then you went and you saw Bob Saget do his stand up, and you were like, Whoa, this is it takes a little bit of adjustment time. The amount of F bombs that Bledsoe dropped, mm -hmm. the how blue he went in a lot of it. I was like, whoa, let's go, Drew. Mm -hmm. As he was sipping nothing but red wine, sticking to the brand, mm -hmm. brand loyalty there. There you go. The entire time. I w <laughs> that was the one where it took me back the most mm -hmm. because I expected out of Gronk. I expected out of Edelman. Sure as hell expected out of all the comedians. Yes. Like Burt Kreischer and Tom Segura went up there mm -hmm. and they, out they brought up like the traits of a psychopath. Mm -hmm. And they were like, they broke down one by one how Tom Brady is a psychopath, <laughs> Which, and, and we also, all need to be worried about him, like as a serial killer. Not that far off. No, they actually nailed it. Yeah. Like it was like, Tom Brady probably that one probably hurt the most because he was like, "Yeah, I need to do some soul searching yeah, after that one." Does. Like oh, yeah. everything else was like just cracks at me. They went and they lined him up next to all of the serial killers, including Ted Bundy, and were like, mm, "Yep, probably it, needs to go find himself a BJJ instructor." It's all. Of the um, stereotypes, or I guess uh, traits, of a of a psychopath, which was it, it was good to see Bledsoe also come back because you had all these guys come together and look with with Brady you have the rift between him and Belichick that mm. that was there the rift between him and Bledsoe which was there you know that the loyalty that he has to Robert Kraft where there was one joke that Ble that Brady said no. Jeff Ross went up and he cracked a joke about craft and massage parlor. Mm -hmm. Of all of the jokes that night, that was the one where Brady walked up to him and said, Hey, don't do that S again. And to me, I was like, boy, he really doesn't love Robert Kraft. Yeah. <laughs> he loves him a lot. Yeah, when it gives you a half a billion dollars. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's a it's a pretty good relationship mm -hmm. that they have. That was the one joke. Which also that was should be the one side. Which that, that should have been Totally within bounds. There were multiple like, Aaron... Tom Brady, has Tom Brady never seen a roast before? Yeah. Yeah, I know. But there were multiple Aaron Hernandez jokes, which Ooh. Aaron Hernandez is fiancé now coming out and saying it's such a cruel world. It's like, they made fun of him being a murderer. Yeah. Sorry. You know? And offing himself in prison. Like, you may not, like, think that that yeah. is... Who, who that really is were the victims of the cruelty here? I mean, yeah. He was... Let's go ahead and check in with Aaron Hernandez's murder victim. Yeah. You, I mean, yeah. Oh, we can't. I mean, holy smokes. Yeah, yeah. It was. Uh, I thought it was. It was well played. A lot of shots below the belt. There, yes, figuratively, figuratively, and literally from Nikki Glaser. Yes, uh, Nikki Glaser had one directed uh, at both Brady and Gronk that is doing the rounds on the internet today. Tom also lost thirty million dollars in crypto. Tom, how did you fall for that? I mean, even Gronk was like, me know that not real money. Like. <laughs> the best part of that joke was that Kevin Hart came up right after and he's like, I'm not, I was sitting right next to Gronk. And he leaned over to me and goes, I did. <laughs> he goes, you're not supposed to be part of the joke, <laughs> Rob. Like, nobody else could hear that, but Rob, Rob was like, yeah, me, me know not real money. <laughs> One of the Kill Tony jokes had, uh, Reminded Rob that that actually wasn't his shadow next to him. That was Kevin Hart. And I was just like, oh, my God. You've got to be kidding me. Just absolutely vicious the entire night. Oh. So, yeah. Go out. Watch it. It's fun. It was. It's a good roast. It was It was a good roast. Uh, very blue comedy. And not. it is not going to be for everybody. But Peyton Manning was there. Man, Peyton took shots at Tom. But I thought the best shot landed on Twitter tonight when, or to this morning when Eli said, I would have gone to Tom's roast, but mm -hmm. I didn't want to roast him for a third time. For a third time. 
That's good. Mm, that one. That <laughs> one. That's good. <laughs> that one hurts you a little bit. <laughs> right in the side. Yeah. Yeah. Worst roaster of the night was Randy Moss. Uh, Which is really disappointing. It was. It was. You, you, you would have figured I, the old country boy would have had a little something. Or well, had a writer do something for him. Uh, yeah, he he got he had a couple good ones. Like he's he asked Tom like, uh, why didn't you cheat when I was there? Because Deflate Gate was after he was there. Mm. Spy Gate was before. He's like, why didn't you guys cheat to get me a ring? Yeah, <laughs> which is uh, that's I mean, pretty good. That was pretty good. Other than that, Randy Randy was just okay. He was R- just fishing. He he was he was. There was a lot of fishing jokes at mm-hmm. Randy's expense throughout the entire night. Well, when you just fish all the time. Yeah, that's what Randy. Those that don't know, like that's what Randy Moss does. Is he just goes fishing? That's all he does. When he when he went was uh, when he came to the Raiders, he bought yeah. a property, like one of the only properties you could find with a pond. Yeah, and would just fish. And like this, this text says, "Funny night, but a ton of teleprompter reading and stage stuff. All of their all the jokes a, are written for them, guys. That is a roast. Is yeah. that they're all all written? And I thought Kevin Hart played into it perfectly." When Gronk was up there, and he's like, "Just sound it out, buddy." <laughs> sound. I mean, Belichick's d- one like he's like looking back at the teleprompter, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, just, just like sound yeah. it out. That's all. That's all the roast. And usually, when you have actors or other comedians, their delivery is going to be much more smooth. Yeah, and they're also writing their own stuff. Yeah, with these guys, you have athletes here mm. where, like, you really do sound it out, buddy. You'll get there eventually. It'll be okay. Nikki Glazer stole the show for me. Though. She did. She was far and away the funniest person of the night. I mean, and she's she's funny as hell. That's not a rarity. She's yeah. usually right up there yeah. on these roasts. Very vulgar. Yes. Very vulgar. Which, you know, it can play in your favor sometimes. So 